My precious child, hear and know this with the fullness of your heart. I love you deeply, profoundly, and unconditionally. This love I have for you is not fleeting or temporary in nature, but rather it is an eternal, unending love that will never change, today and throughout all of eternity. I love you with this same unwavering, steadfast love, even in those times when you may find yourself gripped by doubt, uncertainty, or deep suffering. My affection and devotion to you remains rock-solid and unchanging. I implore you, do not give your precious, delicate heart away to those who would carelessly disregard or thoughtlessly mistreat the priceless gift of your heartfelt affection. Instead, I urge you to allow me to be the sovereign ruler and the supreme, unrivaled focus of your heart and your devotion. When you do this, you will discover and experience the perfect, all-encompassing peace that surpasses all human understanding. I am fully aware that your nights have often been stained and darkened by the endless flow of your tears, but I tenderly invite you to come to me, for in my loving presence you will find the peace, the comfort, and the soothing rest that your weary soul is longing for. Even in those times when you stumble and falter, I will never ever turn you away or cast you aside. I cherish you deeply, and I will always gladly accept you for you belong to me, and I will never let you go. Do not delay or hesitate any longer in returning to the shelter and security of my arms. Hold fast and firm to all that I have so graciously given and entrusted to you, for I have an abundance more that I am eager to share with you. But you are not yet fully ready to bear the full weight and glory of it all. I earnestly and passionately desire with every fiber of my being, for you to draw ever nearer and closer to me. I am here, waiting with open, loving arms to tenderly embrace you, and I solemnly declare to you that my love for you will never ever waver or fade, not now, not ever. You are mine, and I am yours, for all of eternity. Your life is now undergoing a profound transformation, for I am entering into it in miraculous, extraordinary ways. Soon, you will see with your own eyes the clear path to freedom from the suffering you have endured. I am no mere illusion or fantasy. You know me well, and you can trust in my reality. Cast aside any lingering doubts or hesitations, for in every single dark and difficult hour you have faced, I have been steadfastly by your side, gently guiding you back to the light and the vitality of life. Though your early formative years were filled with tumult and upheaval, since the time I have entered into your life, the circumstances have brightened and improved immensely. Let the blazing fire that now burns within your heart serve as the assurance that confirms this truth to you. The dream and the vision I have planted deep within you is now blossoming and flourishing, with you functioning as both its steadfast roots and its expansive, sheltering branches. This dream will not only provide refuge and nourishment for you, but it will do the same for all those you dearly love as well. Cling tightly to the abundant life that I am offering and extending to you. Prepare and ready yourself, for I have plans and purposes that will transform you completely and entirely. My cherished child, do not allow yourself to be overcome by fear or dread when faced with the challenges and difficulties that lie before you. I am purposefully preparing and strengthening you through these very trials and testings in order to ready you to receive even greater blessings and provisions. I am fully aware of the depths of your pain and suffering. Even through the darkest of your nights, my spirit is the one who brings a soothing peace to your soul and provides comfort to your longing heart. Even in those times when you faltered and stumbled, I never once abandoned or forsaken you. New, brighter days are now dawning on the horizon, and you will soon find yourself singing with joyful exultation once again. You will uncover and discover the long-sought miracle you have been yearning for. Declare your unwavering trust in me once more, and I will gladly and eagerly receive it.
This place of my abiding presence is where everything that I have placed within you is now growing and multiplying exponentially. Soon, your sorrow and anguish will come to a complete end, and your deepest needs will be abundantly fulfilled. Wait with steadfast hope, and do not succumb to fear or anxiety, for I am with you always. I am your God, I will strengthen you and hold you up, and I will protect you from the schemes of evil. Your future will not simply repeat the pains and the wounds of your painful past. The time has now come for your injuries to be healed. You will move forward, carrying only the invaluable lessons gleaned from your past experiences. When you are feeling weak and weary, find rest and refuge in the shelter of my loving arms. Feel the freedom to cry without any sense of shame or embarrassment. Come to me with an open and vulnerable heart, for I fully understand the struggles you face without any trace of blame or condemnation. You are sincere and inherently good, even though you have been deeply hurt and wounded by those who ultimately abandoned you. You have continued to love selflessly, even when you felt that you had nothing left to give. Listen closely to me now, and believe wholeheartedly in the truth of my words. The painful burdens and afflictions of your past will not be permitted to return. Place your complete faith and trust in me, and I will guide and lead you forward onto an infinitely better and brighter path. I am here for you always. You can tell me absolutely anything. Talk to me when you're feeling upset and distressed and shed your tears while resting securely in my comforting embrace. Be cautious and discerning, however, about sharing your most deeply held secrets with untrustworthy people who may claim to love you, but who could very well end up betraying you in the end. My child, wholeheartedly embrace and hold fast to my word so that you may come to know me more intimately. A new, glorious stage of your life is now unfolding shining as brightly as the sun and completely free from the afflictions of your past. When you do cry, it will be tears of pure joy and gladness as you witness the fulfillment of my promises. And when you are still and quiet, listen intently, for I am here with you. I gently whisper through my Holy Spirit, continually breathing life, love, and hope into the depths of your very being day and night. I nourish you with the sustaining truth of my word, and I encourage you, saying, Take heart, for I am actively and powerfully at work within your life. Run this race with me, and I will most assuredly grant you the victory. You are a champion, a mighty warrior, a conqueror, and an overcomer. I am the one who strengthens and empowers you to run, and I will be with you at every single step along the way. I hear your cries, and I respond, I see you in those early morning hours when you diligently seek after me, your eyes open wide, as you declare, Father, I believe, I trust, I know that you are there. You humbly bow your head, and yet you boldly make your requests, for you are certain and assured of my immeasurable love and my responsive action. My heart opens wide for you, even in the midst of your moments of weakness. You are gentle and brilliant as a blazing flame. Now be still within the depths of your soul, for I will soon appear and manifest my presence to you. Do not wait until you reach the eternal paradise to come to know the fullness of my glory. You are my cherished child even now, and you will be empowered to accomplish truly miraculous works through your devoted commitment to me. Come and receive all that I have in store, for your prayers and your courageous faith have the power to unlock every blessing. Cherish and treasure this life that I have graciously given to you. I have granted you a strong, unwavering heart, so do not shrink back in fear. Pray with fervent intensity, work with honesty and integrity, and remain ever faithful. Give me your heart and your love, and I will ensure that you have everything your heart could ever desire. Make it a daily practice to attentively listen to me and open your spirit wide to embrace the life-giving power of faith and hope so that the enemy cannot succeed in undermining you with a spirit of despair. 
No one and nothing can ever overcome or defeat me. The enemy's attacks and schemes will not be able to truly harm or destroy you. I want you to come to a deep, unshakable knowledge of who you truly are, beyond the superficial pretenses and labels that others may have tried to place upon you. You have discovered the wellspring of courage that resides within you, even in the midst of life's most daunting challenges. You are a solid, immovable rock, steadfastly following and obeying my commands. Guard and protect these truths as something far more profound than mere words or sentimental feelings. Always keep me, your Heavenly Father, as the constant focus of your thoughts and your devotion. Open your eyes and see me. Open your ears and heed the sound of my voice. Open your arms wide, and I will draw near to you. Trust me as completely as a child who sleeps peacefully knowing with absolute certainty that their faithful guardian will provide for their every need. Bring me the precious gift of your faith, for it is the most invaluable treasure you possess. Listen closely and take these words that flow directly from the depths of my heart into the depths of your own heart. Close your eyes and choose to believe, receive this gentle, all-encompassing love that tenderly envelops your heart. While the world around you may be filled to overflowing with anxiety and discouragement, you have a God who loves you deeply and who waits with open welcoming arms, longing to receive you home. I have chosen and selected you because of the simplicity and purity of your heart. Though you have heard my voice and my call, you have not fallen away from me. You know with unwavering conviction that nowhere else in all of creation Will you ever find the kind of unconditional, hope-filled, and warmly welcoming love that I freely offer to you? Hold fast to your faith and pray with me daily, making the necessary time in your busy life to simply sit in my presence, resting in the stillness. For whatever you choose to sow and invest into our relationship, you will most assuredly reap a bountiful, thousandfold harvest. I am about to do and accomplish truly great and mighty things in the course of your life, far beyond what you have even dared to dream or imagine as possible. I am faithfully leading you and guiding you to places that your heart has only ever envisioned in its most hopeful dreams, and I am opening doors that you had long thought to be forever sealed shut and inaccessible. My words and my promises to you are absolutely true and trustworthy. Day by day, I hear the fervent prayers that you offer, and I take great delight in the unwavering faith that is expressed through your words. I love you with a depth of affection that knows no bounds, and I will continue to bless you abundantly until you have no more tears of disappointment to shed. Stand steadfastly beside me and fix your gaze upon the limitless horizon. Share with me the deepest dreams and aspirations of your heart. Have you truly lost or abandoned them all? I remember you well as a vibrant, hopeful child, lost in thought as you contemplated the extraordinary places and experiences you one day hoped to encounter, with the radiant light of your spirit shining brightly. But over the course of time, I have watched as your smile slowly faded and became dimmed. I saw you begrudgingly turn inward, with no one left to advocate on your behalf, but I was always there, steadfastly watching over you and lighting the darkness that threatened to consume you, providing you with glimpses of a future that is infinitely better and brighter. You instinctively knew deep down that the rejection and hardships you faced did not and could not define the true essence of who you are. Something powerful within you consistently urged you forward, compelling you to climb over the obstacles in your path, to resolutely move ahead and to venture out into the unknown. There is life and there is a tomorrow waiting for you. This is your destined purpose and calling, to grow, to achieve, to leave, to return, and to generously help and uplift many, including yourself. I knew this about you even before I formed you in the womb, it has been a slow, intentional process of refinement, 
gradually opening you up like a delicate flower in bloom. You have endured some truly harsh and challenging seasons, but it has all been a part of the necessary preparation to ready you for what lies ahead. You are my beloved child, born and uniquely designed to bring my good news and glad tidings to others and to comfort and console those who mourn. When you call out to me, I will answer. Do not be gripped by fear, for I am always with you. I have firmly bound myself to my every word and promise. You have grown and matured, diligently keeping yourself presentable and continually expanding. Now you are ready to enter into a new, elevated spiritual realm, where you will spend the remainder of your days until the very end. Focus your attention and your energy on charting your own individual path, not on comparing yourself to others. You have your own beautiful dreams, so concentrate on pursuing them, rather than fixating on watching the dreams of others come to fruition. Let them dream their own dreams, but you must continue dreaming and pursuing your own as well. Your efforts and your hard work will not be in vain or forgotten. You have come too far to even consider turning back now. I have brought you here and positioned you to inherit the blessings I have promised. Your hopes and dreams will be granted and multiplied exponentially. You and your entire family will be abundantly blessed, even in those times when others around you are facing lack, fear, and despair. While many others may lament and mourn the poverty and crumbling of their own world, your mind will remain as fertile, rich soil that eagerly receives and embraces my words. I am planting powerful, life-giving seeds within you that will grow into new branches, budding and blossoming with countless vibrant flowers. The doors of heaven stand wide open before you. You will feel my love surrounding and permeating you so fully that you will never again be the same. Failure will no longer be a part of your life or the lives of those who are closest to you. My spirit will be so intimately near to you that you will only ever find true peace and divine empowerment when you are leaning wholly upon me and attentively listening to my words. You will be filled with a deep, unshakable joy each and every single day, regardless of your outward circumstances. You will stand resolute and divinely inspired to continue pressing forward on the journey I have set before you. Your arms will be strong, your feet will be swift, and your mind will be flooded with fresh, innovative thoughts as you boldly open new doors in life. Cast aside and rid yourself of all fear, for you will speak with the voice of divine authority, and no one's status or power will ever again have the ability to disturb or unsettle you, because you are loved and cherished by me. You will open the hearts of others, and blessings will flow through you like water through a sieve, and miracles will course and surge through every area of your life. All of these immensely difficult things that have happened to you will not be permitted to define or determine the fullness of who you are. You were uniquely created and destined for success. You are a victor, and my boundless love has made you more than a mere conqueror. Even when all seemed to be lost and hope itself appeared to have vanished still, my spirit faithfully revealed to you the unshakable promise of my mighty power. I did not choose you for the purpose of failure. You were born to emerge victorious. And yet, I long for you to develop an ever-deepening hunger and thirst for me, to know me more fully and intimately. Few in this world will ever be able to offer you a love that is as pure and as vast as the love that flows from me. Many will fail to comprehend the depths of it, and they will even hate it and refuse to receive it. They do not believe that they too are infinitely loved, and this cynicism ultimately leads them down the path of lonely isolation and a disbelief in the goodness of others. Come to me now, bringing your weary and your dreaming heart. It is my rightful place and my very nature to bless you lavishly. Your trust in me is pure, and your intentions towards me are always good. I deeply desire to fulfill the noble intentions and aspirations you have for your family. 
I will keep you from the entrapment and enslavement of crippling debts. Believe in me when I speak and trust fully in the incredible plans I have prepared for you. My word is sure and secure, and my plan is one of peace and boundless prosperity. The blessings I bestow upon you are free. They are not meant to be hoarded or selfishly hoarded, but rather they are to be used to enrich and uplift the lives of others. What I give to you, you should sow out like seed, plant it where it can multiply and flourish. Do not keep these precious seeds to yourself, allowing them to rot like a life-giving river, let them flow freely and remove any jagged stones that may be preventing you from flourishing. I am the God of abundance, the source of all blessings, the one who delights in those who share, give and extend kindness to others. It is I who nourish and sustain you, multiplying the blessings I bestow upon you, ensuring that you will never experience lack or want. I am intimately acquainted with the challenges you face and the burdens that weigh heavily upon your soul in this earthly realm. In moments of uncertainty and struggle, I fill your heart with words of faith, hope, and love. Words that are not mere platitudes or empty sentiments, but rather, words that carry the power of eternal life. As you treasure these words in your heart and mind, allowing them to take root and flourish, you will find yourself empowered to embrace the countless victories that lie ahead of you. You need not be consumed by fear or anxiety, for there shall be no shortage or deficiency in your life or in the lives of your descendants. No force in heaven or on earth can conquer you, for I am making you increasingly aware of my supernatural activity, working mightily through my spirit within you. My hand is not simply a source of reassurance. It is a conduit of strength and self-control, enabling you to stand firm, take action, and fight against any opposition that seeks to hinder your progress. Those who rise against you will be struck with terror and will retreat in utter defeat, for there will be nothing that can cause you to shrink back in fear or trepidation. Your character is marked by resilience and fortitude, but it is my abiding presence within you that serves as the true source of your strength and unwavering resolve. As you continue to walk in the light of my love and abide in the truth of my word, you will find yourself clothed in the armor of righteousness, equipped with every spiritual blessing needed to overcome the challenges that lie ahead. You will become a living testament to the transformative power of my grace a beacon of hope in a world that desperately needs to see the reality of my goodness and faithfulness. In the midst of your struggles and sorrows, I have exchanged your ashes for the radiant joy that flows from my presence. I have revealed to you the very purpose of your existence, the reason you were brought forth into this world. You are a treasure of immeasurable worth in my sight, for you were chosen from the very beginning hand-picked for a divine purpose that will bring glory to my name and hope to a world in need. It is for this reason that you must be fortified by the splendor of my love and grace, allowing my strength to become your own. I will uplift your spirit, breathe new life into your weary soul, and cause the winds of my power to propel you forward, exalting you to new heights of faith and purpose. Step out with boldness and confidence, venturing wherever your path may lead, for no force of the enemy shall have the power to hinder your progress or thwart the plans I have set before you. I will swing wide the doors of opportunity, removing every obstacle and making straight the way for you to walk in the fullness of your destiny. My presence has filled you with divine inspiration igniting within you a passion for the impossible and a hunger for the miraculous. As you lift your voice in prayer, asking for the desires of your heart, I will pour out my blessings upon you in abundance, causing them to pile up until they overflow, spilling out into every aspect of your life. Wherever you go and whatever you put your hand to, you will encounter the tangible evidence of my goodness and favor. But remember, my child, that the blessings I bestow upon you 
are not meant to be hoarded or kept to yourself. Just as freely as you have received, so too must you give, sharing the abundance of my love and grace with all those you encounter. Ask boldly for the things you need, and trust that I will provide them in full measure. But never forget that the cycle of grace I have set in motion does not end with receiving alone. The more you give away, the more you will find coming back to you, multiplied and overflowing. This divine principle operates most effectively when you release your blessings with the same generosity and open-handedness with which you received them. Pour out the good things I have given you, sharing them freely and without reservation, and watch as they return to you in even greater measure, radiating light and love wherever they land. Heed my words, for the abundance I have bestowed upon you knows no bounds. Utilize these gifts freely and without reservation in every corner of the world for the benefit of all those who find themselves in despair, lost and wandering, suffering in misery, hunger, thirst, and without a place to call home. Your mission extends beyond merely meeting their immediate needs. It encompasses a greater purpose, the betterment of yourself, those you help, and the entirety of humankind. Understand that the power to forge deep human connections and provide for the most basic of necessities lies within your hands. You have the ability to extend this to any person who crosses your path for any reason at any time, today, tomorrow, and for all of eternity. My desire is to shower you with blessings, but I implore you not to become fixated on the fleeting nature of material possessions. Instead, direct your thoughts towards that which endures beyond the confines of time. If you embark upon a sincere quest to find me, I assure you that your efforts will be rewarded. I will make my presence known to you. Immerse yourself in the depths of my teachings, allowing them to permeate your very being. Take note of the fact that behind every miraculous event recorded, there stood a person, a tender-hearted and faithful individual whose status in society held little significance. These were the ones who expressed heartfelt gratitude for the gifts they had yet to witness with their own eyes. It was their profound thankfulness for these blessings that gave birth to and nurtured their unwavering faith. Yet, they accomplished all of this through the very same spirit that resides within you at this very moment. In my presence, you shall discover an abundance of love, forgiveness, healing, salvation, wisdom, patience, peace, and above all, understanding. I hold your future, your answers, your escape, and your solutions in the palm of my hand. Draw closer to me, for I yearn to know you on a deeper level. I desire for you to encounter my truth and experience my power firsthand. My wish is for you to become a conduit bringing my kingdom into your heart and your home. My love for you is unwavering, and as you accept me, listen to my voice, and patiently await my silent communication, you will find solace. In those moments, pour out your heart in prayer and speak your truth. Pray in this manner and rest assured that your prayers are heard, bringing me great joy. Ask whatever you will, and it shall be granted to you. Of this, you can be certain. If your requests are pure, untainted, and centered on that which is spiritually beneficial, as you grow and flourish, all aspects of your life will prosper in harmony. Embrace the knowledge that I am always with you, guiding you along the path to inner peace and fulfillment. Trust in my unwavering support and infinite wisdom, for I am the source of all that is good and righteous. As you navigate the complexities of life, Remember that my love for you remains constant, and my desire is for you to experience the fullness of my blessings. So come, my child, and immerse yourself in the warmth of my presence. Allow my love to envelop you, my forgiveness to liberate you, and my healing to restore you. Seek my wisdom in times of uncertainty, and find solace in my patience and peace when the world around you seems chaotic. Through our connection, you will gain a profound understanding of your purpose 
and the divine plan that I have for your life. As you open your heart to me and make space for my kingdom within, you will witness the transformative power of my love. Your home and your relationships will be infused with the essence of my presence, creating a sanctuary of love, compassion, and understanding. So pray with a pure heart, focusing on that which is spiritually enriching, and witness the abundance that will flow into every aspect of your life. For as you grow in faith and align yourself with my will, all your endeavors will be blessed and you will find true contentment and joy in our eternal bond. My blessings upon your family remain steadfast, as I have consistently demonstrated in the past, providing you with ample evidence of my unwavering love. Moreover, I bestow upon you the patience necessary to await the manifestation of the miracles currently set in motion. Steal yourself for what may appear to be unexpected, Adorn yourself with the pristine garments of hope, and I shall dispatch an angelic messenger, bearing tidings of perfect peace and immense joy. In that moment, you will come to understand that I am incapable of deceit, and that I harbor no hesitation in showering you with blessings whenever my heart is stirred to do so. The world may veer off course, and you may have found yourself entangled in its chaos, but now I remain ever present at your side, for you have embraced my words, followed my guidance, heeded my teachings, and cherished them deeply. Each day, when the sun's radiance is obscured by clouds, the light of my glory continues to illuminate your being from within. Those who fixate their minds upon earthly possessions and apparent evils fill their inner sanctum with superstition and apprehension, obscuring their spiritual vision and straying from the path. Clothe yourself in the radiant garments of unwavering hope, for I shall send a heavenly messenger to deliver the promise of perfect peace and boundless joy. In that sacred moment, any doubts about my faithfulness will dissipate, and you will know with certainty that my blessings flow freely and without hesitation whenever my heart is moved to bestow them upon you. Your acceptance of my words, your willingness to follow my lead, your attentiveness to my lessons, and your deep appreciation for them have forged an unbreakable bond between us. Remember, those who allow their minds to be consumed by the pursuit of worldly possessions and the fear of visible evils inadvertently create a shrine of superstition and doubt within themselves. This inner turmoil obscures their spiritual discernment and leads them astray from the path of truth and enlightenment. But even on days when the sun's light is hidden behind a veil of clouds, the radiance of my glory will continue to shine brightly within you, illuminating your path and guiding your steps. Feed the very core of your being and your mind with my sacred word, which possesses the power to heal, to uplift, to fortify, and to sustain. Every promise I make is firmly rooted in this eternal love. My resolve is unwavering. It is my deepest desire for you to experience well-being and happiness. It is my will that your loved ones be liberated from every form of bondage, that they be filled with vibrant energy and purpose, enabling them to flourish and empowering you to achieve your dreams and aspirations. And on that momentous day, you will hold the trophy of faith in your hands, a testament to your unwavering commitment. You may perceive yourself as modest and unassuming, but I implore you to recognize that I have been striving to reveal to you something truly magnificent. Within the confines of your home, I am entrusting you with a mission of immense significance. You will stand tall, your head held high, and you will proclaim to others the good news of your God, my boundless love, and the gift of forgiveness extended to all who approach me with contrite hearts, eager to undergo a profound transformation. It is my fervent wish for you to experience true happiness and fulfillment, and for your family to break free from the shackles that bind them. I desire for them to be filled with boundless energy, to discover their purpose, and to thrive in all their endeavors. As you align yourself with my will, 
You will find that your dreams and aspirations will come to fruition and success will be yours. I am present, so continue to heed my voice. I will guide you to another pasture towards an abundance of blessings. I am your father, watching over you by night and day. I am your guide, ensuring that you will not falter and no harm shall befall you. Your gaze will be fixed ahead, no longer lingering on the past. As your heavenly father, I watch over you day and night, ensuring that you will not stumble or come to harm. Together, we will walk along the paths of righteousness, your gaze fixed steadily ahead, no longer dwelling on the past. Trust wholeheartedly in my designs and my unchanging will for your life. Hearken and find solace. Every word I speak to you is a brick in the foundation of your home, a fortifying wall surrounding you, a protective roof above your head, and the essence of peace within your dwelling. Release your fears and sorrows. Though the enemy is resolute in defeating you, you are equally determined to combat the forces of darkness that hinder the blessings in your life. They will dissipate at the sound of your faith. For a long time, the answers to your prayers have been present, but the powers of darkness have sought to steal them away. Yet your prayers have been imbued with such unwavering faith that they could not be taken. So continue to pray without ceasing. Wipe the sweat from your brow and labor tirelessly. In due time, you will reap the bountiful harvest. Persevere in your efforts, rising early and working diligently. Do not allow anything to deter you from your purpose. Wipe the sweat from your brow and press on, knowing that your labor is not in vain. Remain steadfast in your convictions. Your intrinsic worth is immeasurable. Safeguard your kin, distance yourself from those who speak ill of you, and disregard the opinions of your detractors. Do not place your hopes in people, nor rely on those who have betrayed your trust. Understand this truth. Many profess to bring only the joy of enduring love, yet they vanish at the first sign of adversity stripping away your happiness and mocking your aspirations. Fear not, for I shall provide for all your needs, but cease following those who feign friendship, only to clip your wings and restrict your freedom. I liberated you to fill your life with future glory. I healed you to make your soul overflow with my love. Within your heart, I will instill peace, and in moments of sorrow, I will anoint you with supernatural joy. Cast aside trepidation and despondency. Instead, arm yourself with fortitude and valor. Rest assured, I will be your constant companion as the day breaks, and you need only call upon me, for I am ever present. Entrust yourself to me in the early hours, even when impatience gnaws at you or weariness threatens to overwhelm. Prostrate yourself before me, anchor yourself in my strength, for you have sought my presence. I shall escort you to the fulfillment of your divine purpose. My promise to you will come to fruition. Dispel any lingering doubts, for my blessings will envelop you, even as you navigate the crucible of conflict, even as you grapple with adversity. You shall emerge unscathed. Prosperity awaits you. Your foes will falter in their attempts to vanquish you. You will extend your hands towards the heavens in recognition of your blessings. Gratitude will flow from your lips, and you will instill in your progeny the knowledge that reverence for, belief in, obedience to, and adherence to the words of their celestial Father is a noble pursuit. Each dawn, unveil your aspirations to me, and I shall shepherd you to lush pastures where clarity will dawn upon you. It is then that you will perceive the provisions I have reserved for you and you will be liberated from a life plagued by constant worries and concerns. Anxiety finds no purchase here, not even a toehold. My way is characterized by a heart at peace. Embrace my unwavering love, and your heart will remain untouched by evil. Even during tumultuous times when adversity descends upon you like a tempest, I will remain steadfastly by your side as your understanding of me deepens as you become more attuned to my persistent love that allows you to find solace in my forgiving nature, clarity will dawn upon you. 
My love will then serve as a catalyst for your transformation. You will emerge as a renewed individual. The prospect of facing a new day will no longer fill you with apprehension. You are not feeble, but robust, not timorous, but audacious, not constrained by despondency, but liberated. I have imbued you with a spirit not of trepidation, but of might and affection. Those ephemeral sensations will dissipate in response to my summons. You will no longer be propelled by fear or heart-racing anxiety. Instead, you will be invigorated, not depleted. Today you are granted liberation, and you now comprehend your true identity. Do not succumb to fear or despair when your succor and emancipation appear most distant, and when hope seems to have abandoned you. Aid will arrive precisely at my appointed time. Place your trust in me, and you will be replete with blessings and bountiful fruit. You are on the threshold of entering the gates of exaltation. Rejoice in this day, for praise draws near. I am drawing you close. No one shall inflict harm upon you. I render ineffective the weapons of those who would seek to harm you. Though your foes may seem insurmountable, my might eclipses theirs infinitely. Seek refuge in me with your burdens, my beloved. And behold, as I alchemize your trepidations into benedictions through my divine decree and celestial authority, awaken to your inner fortitude, embrace your inherent valor, and wield the arsenal of gifts I bestowed upon you to vanquish the trials that besiege you. By honoring my covenants, you will fulfill your destiny. Exercise the malevolent spirits that lurk, step boldly into the light, and let your prayers resound. Shatter the dominion of your adversaries in this very moment. This is the crucible of your faith. The ethereal forces of darkness will flee before the radiance of your unwavering belief. However, beware. If you yield to fear, if you allow bitterness to take root when faced with hardship, or if you direct your anger towards me when provisions seem scarce, you create fissures in your spiritual armor. Through these cracks, the forces of darkness will seek to wage their insidious warfare against your soul. When the weight of time bears down upon your shoulders and slumber evades your desperate pursuit, when the winged creatures of the firmament perceive your agitated soul and raise their melodic voices in sympathy, when your thoughts race beyond the limits of your visual perception, when the oppressive mists of worry envelop your very heart Address the adversary that has taken up residence within your mortal shell, the nemesis that has entrenched itself in the recesses of your existence. Declare with unwavering conviction, I am a child of the Supreme Being. My faith is firmly anchored in the Lord. Heed these words, you foe of my cherished one. Do not underestimate the individual who stands resolute before you, nor allow arrogance to swell in their presence for their might flows from their unwavering belief in the omnipotent. Relinquish that which you have unjustly seized, lest you be faced with utmost disgrace. You may amass your legion of allies and refine your deceptive strategies, but be assured that your labors shall prove futile, for my beloved is forever beyond your grasp, whether in the radiance of day or the embrace of night. For I am the architect of all creation and the master of illumination. It is I who sovereignly govern and reign over the night, who open and close its gates, and who ultimately determine its very duration. The day rests securely within my hand for me to either conceal or reveal as I see fit. I am the dawn, the zenith, the twilight, and the night itself. As the night approaches and draws near, even the mighty mountains bow down in darkness when the moon hides its radiant face. I shall rise up and overcome all oppressors when the darkness begins to envelop the entire earth, even when the stars and galaxies themselves dim and fade. I perceive and discern all things in the mere blink of an eye, and when the troubled, restless city finally slumbers, I am the one who offers steadfast support, reassuring comfort and soothing solace. When a soul finds itself engaged in an intense internal war against itself, I am the one who comes to its rescue and aid. 
When tumultuous raging winds begin to rise, I am the one who uncovers and exposes their very source. And when dangerous, blood-surging rivers begin to surge forth, I am the one who calms and stills the raging tide. When perilous fields of fire seek to spread their menacing threat, I am the one who extinguishes the consuming flames. And when spirits and entities emerge from the realm beyond, I stand as the guardian and protector of the living. Follow me and walk in my ways if your heart is genuinely stirred to believe in and wholeheartedly accept my word. If in the depths of your innermost being, you diligently hearken to and place your trust in me. In those profoundly trying and difficult hours through which your footsteps must inevitably pass, Know with unwavering certainty that you have most assuredly not toiled or labored in vain. Today I speak these words expressly to encourage and uplift you. I speak with unwavering faith, with courageous resolve, and with unshakable strength. Be patient and wait patiently for me. Say this with conviction in your heart, in the depths of your soul. In the midst of my difficulties, I can do nothing except wait for the Lord. This declaration will work to restore your calm, your serenity, and your abiding peace. Do not be afraid, for your dreams, whatever it is that you desire, I am the one who holds and secures everything. I have promised you everything that I love and cherish for you. All that you need do is maintain your faith and nurture your hope. For faith and hope are the two most powerful transformative forces that this world has ever known. My child, these words that I speak are my most profound and impactful blessing that I bestow upon you for your life and for your God-given power and authority. The relentless winds of this world will do all that they can to make you believe that you will soon forget how I supported and upheld you at every single moment. But I am the one who unleashed those winds, and I command both them and the raging storms to cease. Do not be afraid, for I will never ever betray or abandon you, and I will never be late or tardy in my response. I am going to lift you up and out of the midst of your struggles. Answer me directly from the depths of your own heart. What person or thing do you cherish and love more than me? I know that your trials and tribulations have been immense, and I see the overwhelming suffering the persistent striving and the deep frustration that have been your constant companions. But remember this, it is often during those very worst of times that I confirm and demonstrate the full extent of my unfailing love for you. The very best thing about you in this present moment is the fact that you have chosen to trust in me, to let me fully into your life. Take a moment to reflect deeply upon the course of your life thus far Think about all the things that have gone terribly wrong for you, all the fierce battles you have fought and all the burdens you have been forced to carry. And yet, here you still are. How profoundly strong and resilient you have become. And remember this as well, I have never, not even for a single moment, deserted or abandoned you. Your friends and acquaintances may try to claim that your hard-won success is merely the result of sheer luck or accident. But no, my child, at every single difficult step along the way, I have been the one who has helped you. I have been the one who has provided you with my divine guidance and counsel. I have advised and instructed you, and I have comforted and consoled you. That is precisely why, in this very message I am now sharing with you, I am emphatically telling you not to worry or fret. So I urge you, relax your heart and keep your unwavering faith firmly rooted in me. I understand that it may seem incredibly difficult to relax and maintain your faith when it feels as though everything around you is rapidly falling apart and divisive voices are flying all around. During those tumultuous moments, I encourage you to cover your ears and listen instead with the eyes of your heart. Do not allow the enemy's incessant little voices to infiltrate and get a foothold within your mind. Refuse to give in to the voices of fear and insecurity. Instead, continue steadfastly trusting in the promises I have made to you. 
Even before you were ever formed in your mother's womb, I had already prepared and set in place a wonderful, awe-inspiring plan for the course of your life. I will never ever leave you feeling vulnerable or exposed. I have always upheld and protected the precious life that I have entrusted to you in extraordinary ways. I am intimately and closely watching over you and I am tenderly taking care of you in the midst of all the smallest details. I am present with you and I fully share in the depths of your sorrow. So now I urge you, fill your heart to overflowing with unwavering gladness and press forward confidently into the victory that I have secured for you. Child, my mouth freely imparts the wisdom of heaven, and my lips proclaim the unwavering truth. Allow me to guide you steadfastly in the way of true wisdom, and allow me to lead you securely along the paths of righteousness. Hold fast and cling tightly to my instruction, for it is your very life. Cherish it, and do not ever let it go. Walk in it and dwell within it, and it will bring abundant joy and delight to fill your days. And when you fully embrace and wrap yourself in my wisdom, your expectations and aspirations will only continue to grow and expand. As you rest and abide under my care, evil will not be permitted to touch you. My words will bring deep healing and restoration to your mind, and they will usher in prosperity to every area of your life. Hear these words, heed these teachings, and obey these commands. I have already bestowed my full blessing upon you, and that rich, unending blessing now awaits you as you choose to attentively listen to and heed the sound of my voice. I'm teaching you not just to hear my word, but to live it out fully. If you only listen without acting, the power of my words into your life will remain dormant. I know the struggles you face in this hurried world where focus is fleeting, yet do not lose heart. I came to save and strengthen you, to help you overcome. Hear me today, even now, you are crossing into a new season. My words have fortified you like refined gold. I see all you face each moment, yet listen close. What I speak, I want you to do. This is a time of breakthrough. My promises will not fail. The manifestation of my power will silence critics. Obey my words and watch transformation unfold. Obedience ushers forth blessings. Keep your gaze fixed on me as we walk together. I will lead you on the ancient path, the highway of holiness. Trust in me completely and you will witness my faithfulness. I know the plans I have for you, not plans to harm you, but plans to prosper, to give you a hope and a future. Behold the eyes of your Father, for it is Christ Jesus speaking to you. I am the living Word made flesh, draw near, for my Word nourishes and revives your spirit. In thirty days' time, behold my blessings descending upon you like rain as I have spoken. This marks your divine alignment, your open door. Can you accomplish this small task, my beloved? Speak words of blessing over others each day, even if only brief power lies in the words I impart. Bless them, and blessings untold shall return to you, in the city, in the field, at the very gates, in all you endeavor. I will send the rain, as I told Elijah when he saw a cloud no larger than a man's hand. I bring to pass all you decree when aligned with my perfect will. Fix your gaze on me as we walk together, step by step. I know the plans I have for you, not plans to harm, but plans to prosper and give you hope. My grace upholds you, my love surrounds you without end. Seek me and you shall find me. Knock and the door shall open wide. Ask and you shall receive abundantly. I am poured out for the thirsty soul, filled with mercy for the weak. Turn your eyes to me and be radiant. The shadows take flight, the dawn breaks. Your redemption is here. Rejoice, beloved child. Your victory is assured in my unfailing name. This is most assuredly a pivotal time of decisive strategic action, for I am intentionally shaking up and stirring the very foundations of my own house, my people, my nation, and my family. You want to know what it is that I require of you during this critical juncture? Obey my commands, pray fervently, bless others lavishly, and speak only good, life-giving things that align with my will. 
Do not dare to speak against or disparage those around you. Instead, may your boundless love serve to cover and conceal a multitude of sins, just as I have tenderly covered over and completely forgotten your own past transgressions. Forgive your enemies and adversaries, just as I have forgiven you. Cut loose the oppressive bondages and the deceptive lies. Do not give in to the temptation of sin and keep a resolute, unwavering watch over the words that flow from your tongue. But to you, my beloved child, I am now bringing a living, dynamically transformative message that will radically change the trajectory of your life. Hear the authoritative voice of your Heavenly Father speaking these weighty words. If you love me with the entirety of your heart, then you must also obey me, and I will sovereignly transform and reshape your entire world. My glory and my splendor will fill and permeate the entire earth for all to see and experience. You are now transitioning through shifting, tumultuous seasons of great change. I am bringing you not merely words, but specific instruction and profound wisdom. Knowledge is to know something conceptually, but true, godly wisdom is to intentionally act upon and apply that knowledge in the moments that truly matter. When you choose to resolutely act in alignment with the way that I consistently act, you will abundantly reap the benefits of resounding success, preeminent honor, eternal glory, and unstoppable world-changing power. Amen.